As a faculty, uh, we choose the plays in the spring of the year, and we try to hit uh, at least eight different genres. Um, this one was uh, our, um, our classical modern, and uh, Stephen Green, actually, and the faculty had recommended this play for several years, and uh, this was the year that uh, finally we, we decided that this would be one of the four. Um, it's a farce, and I think in uh, not only the political times, but in the, uh, the medical times that we're in right now, we gotta laugh. We have to be able to laugh more, and uh, tackling this thing, um, as soon as Stephen mentioned the play, I, you know, I, I, I kind of glommed onto it because I wanted to challenge myself, but uh, the students, uh, the students as well, because this is a, a tough play to direct, and it's even tougher on the actors because they've got to stay connected every moment, and there is so much, so much choreography. The play that they're doing is called Nothing On. The name of our play is Noises Off which takes us through the uh, final dress rehearsal of, no of Nothing On. Then the, uh, the next time we see our actors, we see them from a backstage view where they're actually performing the play and it is relationships have already gone to hell and the uh, play itself is starting to fall apart. Third act is their very last performance and by this point, they just don't give a damn. It's like trying to execute the blocking as much as it, and so that's the challenge for the actors. It's not just the actions that you learn in the first act and try to apply to the third act, because by the time you're in the third act, everything has changed. So the actors have to do action and objective work, as they always do for all three acts, but the lines are so close sometimes that they're having, they're currently they're having difficulty with uh, memorizing the lines because a part of uh, one line in the first act will turn into a different line in the second or the third act. Uh, that's their challenge. The dialects are also a challenge for them. We're using a combination of um, Cockney for some of the characters, but at the same time, they're, they're human beings. They're a the actor themselves, the actor him or herself, is uh, using proper British when they're like the actor. When they are the character, then it'll switch over to Cockney and they have to be able to switch on a dime. That's their challenge. You have to take it as a drama because the funnier, the, the more serious you're taking it as the actor when ridiculous stuff is going on around you, the funnier it is to the audience. Audiences love to see actors in pain. They like to see people in pain. It's their fir a first reaction when you uh, run into a wall is that somebody's gonna laugh and then it's, oh, are you okay? With the actors, they have to stay absolutely, totally focused on the dramatic and then play through that and because they're so focused on it, because they're taking this so seriously, it uh, then becomes, or should become, funny to the audience. Especially when everything's falling apart. I think this is my third show, working with Cassidy as my uh, lighting designer. Um, I started last year with her, I think on uh, Five Women Wearing the Same Dress, and then, then Henry as well. I love, I love Cassidy. She, uh, She'll come to uh, an early run through just to watch and uh, see where she needs to adjust things. And she gives me everything I need precisely every single time. She's, there's a, there's a bright future for this young woman in, uh, in, the, in, this, in this business because she is, she's talented, she's creative, and she's very precise about the work that she does. When audiences come to see this show, I think the thing I want them to uh, take away from it is, I mean, after they're done laughing, and hopefully, hopefully they laugh, um, when they're done that they uh, really appreciate the amount of work, the gargantuan amount of work that these students have put into this. Um, stage manager, assistant stage manager, the ADs, the, the cast, oh, we've got a wonderful cast, a strong, very dedicated cast, and I've got a lot of new people in that cast, but I want them to appreciate the work that it took and the inspiration that these students are always trying to give whatever audience we have. Because in the long run that's what it's about, that's part of their journey. Not just learning how to do these roles and then performing these roles, but appreciating that journey and knowing the, the effect that it has on an audience and 
how there may be there may be people in the audience who are having really bad days and the fact that they can escape for two and a half hours and enjoy what's going on on that stage I think that's our job theater can change the world and if it can change their worlds for just that two and a half hour moment in time then we've done our job and these kids are doing their jobs.